Welcome back Short Scale Modeling, this is part 2 of Rebel Dust Bowl uh, Scale 12144 In part 1 I began making up the um, help hand uh, stand for the gate In this part I will be um, putting the deck on and um, starting to work on the um, control tower So let's jump into this So to start off with, um, putting in the deck as you can see that the middle uh, section is going in first that should just go right across the two uh, support beams there's a little lip on the underside of the um, deck plate for it to uh, just rest on top of them so now I'm just putting on the decals so a bit of a wall, a bit of decal solution and I'm using Microsol there's actually not that many decals to go on, mainly on the stand, and there's three decals. So first of all, I'm putting on the um, the type of uh, plate on, then goes up to the main plate, then lastly the actual registration number, which in this case is the U96. So only let those three to go on. There is one more that goes on onto the actual um, ship as well, uh, bow, but we'll get into that. So there's a couple of holes I have to drill here and um, so use them a ping drive device and the, the locations are right on the end so this doesn't need much and then there's one in the centre so I don't know where you can see it make up the hole there, there is the hole so I'll put it in now the instructions say put in the tip first then onto the back, but I found after dry fitting it, the other way around is better. So line them off with this, and then just placing it in. And while that's drying, I'm moving on to the underside of the sub, and this is the assembly for the uh, shaft um, housing. It's just two little parts that go together. They are on a slight angle, but try and get them lined up as best as you can. And for the second part of the day, well, third part, fit in quite well. Uh, this time the um, pointed end went in first, uh, then going down onto the middle section. So on the whole, these fitted quite well. Yeah, I'm quite pleased how well they, f they fit together. But, and the joining line looks natural, you wouldn't have to fill it or anything. So now onto the prop shafts and housing. So these just fit in there, on the opposite side, one will go in the course. So now I'm putting on prop shafts, I'll just clean these off a little bit. And they just push into the housing that we put on just uh, a few minutes ago. Those were the housings that I made up um, earlier on. And once they're in, um, a little bit of cement on the contact points before placing in the, the, the bridge that holds the two uh, shafts into place. Be careful here, you, you don't want to break off the the end of these is, is quite thin plastic so make sure the holes are big enough before you push it in ok I broke that bit off, see that then? I'll take this off before it sets and repair that and that shows you how careful you have to be I wasn't um, rough at all with it, it was quite gentle but it just um, snapped off but it is a simple repair if it does happen don't be too damn hearted about it uh, but it's worth keeping your eye open for it. Right, I'm just going to let that set. So while I'm waiting for that to set, there's a yellow. I know some of the instructions, I didn't say it when I was going over them, but there's uh, two little holes got to be drilled here. So I may as well do that now, while there's still room to do it. And the same again on the other side. So now we'll put this back in. It's not 100% set, it's still loose. It's going to give me time to manoeuvre it in. And I'm just going to open this up slightly. Reapply the glue. Make sure I've got it the right way around. So I shall put this one in first. And hopefully it's still really tight. I would suggest actually opening up these holes 
before you you place it in because it is really tight as i said and um, so if you don't want to have this hassle of having to reset the pin um, open up the holes a little bit and that's the one now as you can see i had a little bit of difficulty but they look all right now and so i'm just going to paint it now and that's a 78 tank grey and for the shaft itself I'm putting in 91 steel I'm putting the props on them or the screws so these are one of the hydro fins the location points for these are um, on the um, main shaft unit you know, next to the screw and the other one is in the uh, main uh, keel section of the, of the hull. I would put the um, part into the keel section first, then just to manoeuvre the other uh, pin into the location point where the screw is. It shouldn't be too difficult. And it will be the same on the other side. For the main rudders, there's um, a bracket thing that goes on the main keel at the um, flat edge, down edge of the uh, keel before you put the rudders in. Make sure you put this in first. It's easier to put this in than put the uh, main rudders in afterwards. So if I just twist it around you can see it just pointing up between the two screws. And now that the main rudders can go in, this is where I drilled the uh, two little holes uh, before I started building up this uh, particular set of rudders and hydrofoils. Once they're in, there's a little wishbone bracket that goes on top. Again, this is tricky to uh, fit on. Fit it onto uh, one end onto the middle bracket first, and then lay it down onto the actual uh, rudders. As you can see there, it's um, a little bit tricky, but it helps if you do not glue in the actual main rudders. They shouldn't need gluing anyway. Once this bracket's on, it'll hold it in the place. So if I, I'll just hold it up to the camera so you can see a little bit better the entire construction of it. As you can see, it's a little bit complicated. Um, the wishbone was a bit difficult uh, to put on, but I did manage it in the end. Next to go on is the anchor. There's only one anchor for this uh, boat, uh, not for sub, and it just uh, fits into its housing. Shouldn't have any problem whatsoever with it. With it. The recess hole just fits exactly to the location point. Um, just slot it in and it should just fall into place. So putting the forward fins on. They shouldn't have caused you any problems. Uh, the location points are, uh, again, um, I had to slightly open up these recess holes a, a little bit just to make sure that the um, outer fins, uh, foils fit. I didn't want the um, arm to snap like it did on the prop shaft because that would have been a bit of a um, hard comeback if I had to try and replicate it so it's, it was wise just to um, err on the side of caution so I'm putting on the base now um, the instructions say put it on earlier than this then you just make up the hole but I always find it easier to build up the prop shaft and everything beforehand So this one has a, a little location point for it to correspond with the location pin now. Some of these um, stands don't have that. So this is a good guiding point. So I'll just put that part in first and then just lay it on, push it in. And I've already put some in on the actual stand. And there you go. That's why you put the decal on first. We're moving on to the mast, and uh, there's a couple of different colours there. But first of all, the top colour is 78 tank grey. Now, halfway down, it changes to silver. But you may as well paint it all tank grey. And then when you put in the silver, you, you know where your line's going, and it will be the same colour underneath. Because um, silver comes up really well under a dark background as well. 
Yeah, okay, so the okay, so the mass is um, 57 grade. And you, again, you're always picking it it's halfway down. The reason for that is you, 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 this part here is all going to be inside the actual submarine. So obviously these paints will be needing topped up once they're joined together. But so this is just the initial painting. So while I've got this spray on the grey paint, I'm just going to give everything a coat of the 57 grey because that's the main colour. And of course I can make any colour changes that go along with each part near a different colour. So putting on the 90 silver now. So to build up the mass first of all, put this part in. No, you don't want to cement that part, you only want to cement the actual other casing. So I'm putting on the hatch now. I thought you'd say it's take this later, but you might run out of room, so I'm putting it on now. This could be opened or closed, I'm not having it open. And then all that's left to do is uh, start putting in these um, masts. There's only a couple to put in, uh, they're fairly straightforward to put in. So I'm going to bring uh, part two to a close uh, while I'm doing this. Uh, if you have a look at the instruction just before I close, you can see how it's all meant to go. Uh, it's, uh, it's quite an easy uh, in installation, really. The one goes in one way, and the, uh, the other one will go in from the top. And that's the, the only main thing you, you have to look at here. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for the, my other builds, uh, particularly part one of this build. If you subscribe to the channel, you'll be notified of uh, any updates and uh, future builds. Hit that like button, and of course, you can leave a comment. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.